It is Friday, so if you're excited to get your weekend started, have some cold ones, but you're also just excited because Russell Wilson is your quarterback. This is not a dream. This is the wonderful reality we are living in right now as Broncos country. So go ahead and like today's video if you're pumped for the weekend and if you're pumped that Russell Wilson is QB1. Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown. I'm your host, Matthew Peterson. It is Friday, like I said. So it's only been, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days since Russell Wilson's been traded, and I'm not going to stop talking about it. So if you're bored of Russell Wilson, I don't know what to tell you. But today's show, we're going to look at five bold predictions for Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos in 2022. Are they bold? Absolutely. Is it early March and am I ahead of my skis? No doubt about it. So let's get into my first bold prediction. The Broncos will win the AFC West. I said it. I'm tired of seeing the Chiefs win it. I'm tired of not even seeing the Chiefs win it, but have very little resistance. The Chargers give them a scare when they win at Arrowhead. We haven't done much in the last couple seasons. God, the Raiders are never going to win the AFC West with, you know, the, the, with Justin Herbert, Patrick Mahomes, and Russell Wilson at QB. But the Chiefs have won six straight divisional titles. And with those six straight division titles, that is a AFC record. So there's a lot of things that the Chiefs have been doing right, and I'm tired of seeing that happen. But I want to see that run end. And the good news is no AFC West team has ever won seven straight division titles. So history, while well, it was on the Chiefs' side when they won six straight, which is an AFC West record, it's not on, the rec on their side for seven straight. Well, well, you know, they, they got to lose one sometime. The, the Patriots didn't win every single one with, with Brady. Granted, it happened when he tore his ACL, but still, you know, I'm not, not going to say that for Mahomes, but you, you, you catch my drift here of the run has to end eventually. So who do you think is going to win the AFC West in 2022? Hopefully you're going to type D-E-N, but if you want to be a realist and you want to maybe take me off cloud nine, maybe you can type KC. Maybe you some sleepers, Chargers, Herbert with uh, Cleo Mack now. Not going to be the Raiders. I can guarantee you that much. Next bowl prediction. Russell Wilson gets an MVP vote. Believe it or not, Russ, if you haven't heard, has never gotten an MVP vote, but I wouldn't read too much into that because the MVP tends to be unanimous, right? When Lamar Jackson had a breakout year, how could you vote for anyone else? When Mahomes came to the surface, how could you vote for anyone else? When Aaron Rodgers is tossing 35 touchdowns and three interceptions, how can you vote for anyone else? So I think this is the time Russell Wilson, he gets protection, he stands upright, and he's got phenomenal targets to work with. It wasn't like he had nothing to work with in Seattle, but this is something else. Javante Williams in the backfield. Play action. You want to look at Court and Sutton? No big deal. How about Jerry Judy streaking down the sideline? You want to check out of that? Fine. Tim Patrick is waiting for you at the sticks. Then we've got KJ Hamler. He's also doing great things. And now we've got Big Al O, who's going to be tight end one, who can absolutely be in fantastic security blankets for Russell Wilson. These are great targets for Russ, and I fully expect, maybe I'll eat these words later, but I really don't care at this point, Russell Wilson to get an MVP vote. NFL free agency is right around the corner. It unofficially begins on Monday and open, uh, I mean, it officially begins on Wednesday. Monday is that open tampering period. So if you want constant Broncos free agency coverage with the latest signings and everything to know about who did bring it into Mile High, subscribe if you're watching this for the first time. We're going to keep you up to date throughout all the craziness of NFL free agency. So go ahead and hit that big red button. And if you subscribe to one of our last couple videos where I said, hey, for every subscription we get, I'll include your name in a letter to, God bless him, George Payton and Russell Wilson. I'm going to have an update on that later on, and you'll get to see your name on the show and in the letter, so stay tuned for that. Next bold prediction, Russell Wilson sets a career high in touchdowns. When you've got all those weapons like I just showed you to work with, is it really that far out of the out of our reality? I mean, it's not like I'm, uh, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett and Doug Baldwin, right, and Curse were all great targets. I'm not saying he's had nothing to work with in Seattle, but this is a new, I think, level of wide receivers, including just consistency from top to bottom. Here's his best season in terms of touchdown passes in Seattle. Go back to 2017, 34 when they let him cook, and I want to see Russ cook. I want to see him cook breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a midnight snack, and maybe even like a creme brulee for dessert. Let Russ cook. 
Keep him in the kitchen, all right? And here's my message to Russell Wilson. Actually, on behalf of Jerry Judy, Cortland Sun, Tim Patrick, and KJ Hamler, we got you. We get Hamler back. I kind of forget about that once in a while, but we lost him so early, he's kind of out of sight, out of mind. He's going to be an awesome deep threat paired up with Jerry Judy. He's going to pin those safeties back, and you know what that's going to create? So much opportunity for Sutton and Patrick and Allo over the middle. These guys are going to let Russ do so many great things. Now I need you guys to get your crystal globes out, crystal balls, and predict it for me. How many touchdowns do you think Russell Wilson's going to throw? 34 is his career high. Can I hear a 35, 35, 35, 36 somewhere? I have 37 in the back, 38 in the front. Let me know how many touchdown passes you think Russell Wilson's going to throw. Next bowl prediction. The Broncos go undefeated at home. I really want to see this happen. Denver has had some issues with putting on a good performance for the good, hard-working folks of Broncos country that spend their money to go to games at Mile High. And what do they get rewarded with? Not a lot of things to cheer about. Look at the last five seasons for Denver. And their records and what their record has been at home. Four and five last season. Two and six the year before that. Five and three. All right, finally we get five wins. We get above 500. Then back to below 500. Then to 500. It's been tough to watch games, right? It, 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 there's not many fun, fun, incomplete chance. You see what I'm saying? Like Broncos country has deserved better. This is not a poor fan base that's like the Jags or the Texans that are new to the block. This is one of the richest and proudest organizations. And when I say rich, I don't only mean in the evaluation that's coming that the Broncos are going to sell for over $4 billion, billion with a B. I mean rich in the history, the traditions, the pride, the fandom. They deserve much better than what they have gotten the last couple seasons. Final bold prediction on today's show. The Broncos win Super Bowl 57. I don't think I could have ended it any other way, right? I don't think that would have done it justice. So when you trade for Russell Wilson, a Super Bowl winning QB who's been to two, it's March. Why not have some fun? Why not buy into Russell Wilson winning a Super Bowl for the Broncos? Am I, you know, am I out shooting my coverage here? I don't really care at this point, right? It's the off season. We're going to swing for the fences a little bit. And now we've got the odds. So you guys can have a peek at what the Super Bowl 57 odds look like. And the Broncos... They're not far off from the leaderboard. The Chiefs out first with 700. Packers on their tail. Then the Super Bowl defending champs, the Rams. Niners kind of surprised me. It's a lot of faith. Trey Lance, 1,200. And the Broncos right there with them. All right, to wrap up today's show, it is now time for that letter update. So if you're watching this for the first time and you're kind of confused, well, what I did when the Broncos traded for Russell Wilson, and the next day I said, hey, for every subscription we get, and everyone that comments, hey, please include me in a letter as well, I'm going to do that. So here's the way, though. YouTube doesn't allow me to see every subscription until like 48, 72 hours pass because people will continue to subscribe. So wait for the YouTube subscription uh, name list later on in the week. But here's everyone that commented on a video saying, hey, please include me. So time for some shout outs. Prince, so let's go back to the first one, Producer Trace. Yeah, Prince, Brett, Levi, Peyton, Tanner, Derek, John, Adam, Ryan, Jared. We have Will, Nate, William, Bromley, Adrian. I play games. All right, sounds like a girl. Tristan, Trayson, Mike, Joan, Zoe, and Kayan. Appreciate all of you guys that subscribed. I'm going to have the names of people that recently subscribed. Like I said, YouTube will show me those names. That's not an issue. It just needs like 48, 72 hours because people are still subscribing that are watching that video. So check that out. More to come on that later on. Look at the community tab. I'll keep it posted there. I'll keep you guys in the loop. But I'm going to keep it be a man of my word. For every subscription we get, it's going to look like the damn Declaration of Independence. It's going to go top to bottom with every name that's subscribed and everyone that wants to be on this. So if I forgot you or if you're watching this and you're like, hey, don't forget me, just comment away. Hey, please put me on the letter too. And we're going to let George and Russ feel the love from all of Broncos country here at the Broncos Breakdown by welcoming, them, welcoming Russ to Mile High and just kissing George Payton on the lips for what he did for us. Mm -hmm.